Hi, Steve. How are you doing today? Hi, Sidi. How are you doing? Great to see you. It's uh, oh, yes. really thankful for you guys. So, you know, great to you know, see you again. <laughs> yes. So uh, let me start with what is actually due. So uh, congratulations again for your achievement to pull off the McKinsey offer. So um, you have already started with the firm, correct? That's correct. Uh, it's a month or two for me at the moment. Cool. Amazing. So maybe um, you could talk a little bit about uh, your entire journey of how you prepared for these interviews. Um, how did you start? What were the challenges that emerged? And what was the most important reason for you um, to decide to receive coaching from us? And how does, uh, did this then affect your trajectory towards the, uh, the success? Cool. Sure, sure. Thank, uh, uh, thanks for that. Uh, first of all, I, I want to say that uh, the platform really helped me in finally getting the offer. So I have to put this out there, right? So yeah. for all the viewers out there, uh, it is very, very critical that you follow the program, which is great. Anyway, um, my story is a little bit unique because I am an experienced hire, and then I've actually had uh, a lot of industry experience. So I've worked for 10 years, and then so for me to really you know, step back and then take the um, consulting life approach, it was uh, a little bit challenging because mm. I did not know what I was getting myself into. So mm. because I think uh, having worked with consultants in the past in my previous job, um, my understanding was that at the end of the day is still just work, right? Little yeah. did I know that it is very, very different. And um, the type of work as well as the nature of work, at the same time, the detail that is required as part of your work, okay? Yeah. and yeah. Overall, it's all reflected uh, in the interview process. Now, let me uh, give you a little bit of that um, journey that I took. Yeah, I struggled in the very beginning for two reasons. Because a, uh, I did not, un I, I really didn't know where to start because there were a lot of uh, available content. Um, yes. So there's, there's a lot of free available content, which is mm -hmm. a double edged sword, actually. So I didn't know where to start. That was the first thing. The second thing was that. I came to realize that there was just an overabundance of information. Mm. It was hard for me to pick and select which piece of information at, at times conflicting information were actually critical and useful for me. I'll mm. give you an example. I was reading, uh, obviously all of us started reading Victor Chan and then we just <laughs> started reading going through it. And I thought, hey, it's actually not not that difficult, right? If you're just using mm -hmm. the bucket that, that he laid out. And yes. then I, I would come across uh, free resources online and, uh, from friends. Hey, you know what? That's not right. You shouldn't be doing this. You need to read more. So I started reading two different authors at the same time. And yeah. then it went to three different authors. Yeah. At times, conflicting information for me, I just, I, I was really mixed in um, and confused or, almost in the, okay, so what should I do? Okay, now, mm -hmm. This whole thing erupted when I had my first uh, peer uh, interview with a friend of mine from a uh, uh, from MBB, a uh, former yeah. MBB as well. And then I completely bombed uh, my interview. My friend was actually very critical, and, and and she actually said, "Hey, this is not it. You know, I don't think you're ready at all. I, I really think you need uh, uh, proper in you know, a tailor made coaching." And that's what led me to search for a platform that's really tailored towards, you know, uh, my one-on-one -on -one, uh, preparation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very, very clear. I mean, uh, I think this is actually one of the classic challenges that people have, right? There's this gazillion of resources available, right? And just to navigate through this and to just identify, okay, what is actually valuable here? And uh, uh, to which point does this being valuable reach, right? So, I mean, how did you then uh, perceive this once you had joined our program, right? Did this somehow change your perspective? Absolutely change. And I, I think um, I think now that I've had some time to reflect on our program, I, I think there's two, three things that really, um, you know, that worked for me. The first one was the structure. I think having a, a very structured uh, process in, in during this journey is critical because we you have to understand, I think as working individuals or even people who are trying to uh, prepare for this during their university um, time, we're running against the clock, okay, between our application and to the actual, you know, interview, uh, uh, interview process, interview time. Mm. So 
we normally have what two to three months, sometimes a little bit longer. But how do you actually structure this in a way that you can maximize your output? That's that's critical, right? So yeah. I think this is one thing that the, uh, the the platform really brought us, you know, and which I thought was very very valuable. The second thing was that I think the content itself this is critical as well because it the content as in a how do you actually approach the interviews as not only as a standard interview but as solving problems and i think this is yeah. critical because yeah. because one has to understand that um, you have to a enjoy solving the problems and b know how to solve the problem because essentially that's what you're going to do on the job every single day yes. and then and, and if you don't actually enjoy this or you don't know how to do this probably is a pretty good indicator that you know maybe you know this is not for you okay but if it's not it's okay because i think the program really helps you to you know you know to find ways to actually approach problem in a systematic way yeah the third element which i thought really helped me is definitely which i want to emphasize is actually the peer-to-peer -peer coaching mm -hmm. that was critical for me for my growth because um uh i found uh, i would say that i was a little bit slow in, in the beginning in, in mm -hmm. picking up you know all of the different concepts mm -hmm. what really helped me uh, were the peers uh, um, I went through different batches of peers across the globe, and they, yes. they, were, they were very, very patient with me. In, in the beginning, I was a, a rookie, you know, uh, <laughs> a interviewer or interviewee, and then so he or she would bring me along. And then, so what really helped me uh, were two great things. The first one was I was comfortable, you know, I became more and more comfortable, uh, and I perceived uh, uh, each so called practice interview not so much as an interview, but as a conversation conversation to really tap into a problem that we're going to face and see, hey, you know what, I don't know how to approach this, but how would you do it? You know, uh, yeah. uh, uh, so I think this is one thing that the uh, crowd really uh, preaches. And then the second thing is actually, as you, you know, as your frequency of practice interviews, in, you know, increases, you start to develop a flow. And I think this is very, very, very uh, valuable because, um, the firm or other, I'm sure the other MBBs, uh, they really uh, emphasize on, you know, storytelling or flow of your, your of your conversation, of your, your way of thinking. And I really did not uh, develop this until I would say the 20th or 25th practice interview, you know, mm -hmm. or with years. And I could only grasp this once I got really comfortable and I was yeah. um, also confident in what I was saying. Yeah, yeah. So those are the three key things. Yeah, 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 great. Uh, and I mean, regarding this last point, right, practicing with uh, other program participants, I mean, uh, this is uh, this is something that, I mean, many uh, of the people who go through our program are really emphasizing that this helped them, right? And I mean, many of the people that you practiced with have, uh, meanwhile, also joined one of the big consulting firms, right? Or even are your colleagues now. Absolutely, absolutely. I, 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 I have to say, um, one of the one of the uh, great spots about this uh, this program is that I've made some uh, amazing friends, you know, mm -hmm. uh, uh, along the way, and we still con uh, actually I contacted uh, one of them, you know, last week through our uh, um, McKinsey internal communication portal, and yeah, then, uh, <laughs> amazing. Just goes, yeah, just, just goes to show that you know uh, um, the support network, you know, that the the platform in you know, enforces mm -hmm. is actually very very critical along your process uh, on during the uh, interview preparation because one thing uh, we have to understand is that this is a very high pressure <laughs> you know a practice run you know uh, because uh, there are times where you always doubt yourself there are times where you don't actually know who to ask yeah the mentors are always there to uh, to help you out but Sometimes there are the little or minor detail things that, that, you know, you just feel like, hey, I should probably reserve this, you know, or would I sound stupid if I ask? But then you have your peers who come mm -hmm. along and you realize, oh, my God, he or she is having the same problem. Then we yes. will, you know, dissect the problem together and say that, you know what, why don't we practice next time? You know, yeah. I'm going to start my, you know, uh, first question uh, this way and then uh, let's see how, 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 how it goes. And it yeah. turns out that, you know, they actually helped us better into dissecting the problem, you know, more uh, more in detail and then yep. ultimately reaching the problem uh, reaching the solution mm. great 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 uh, i just have to make one uh, clarifying remark here because now you've several times mentioned the word platform <laughs> so uh, i mean our coaching program is supported by a platform which we have set up for our mentees where also uh, many of the contents are essentially condensed through instruction videos etc right this is what you're referring to uh, uh, yeah absolutely yes <laughs> <laughs> great so um uh, one other thing uh, because given uh, your office choice 
because you had an additional challenge in your interviews due to, to language, right? So um, how did you deal with this and how did the program help you here? Okay, uh, this is a uh, really uh, interesting point because uh, just give some context. Uh, I applied for the uh, for the Shanghai office, but uh, but I grew up in in Australia, so uh, so English is my preferred language. Um, but obviously, we had to conduct some elements of the interview in Chinese mm -hmm. in Mandarin. Now, um, again, again, uh, I think our program uh, is great in that it teaches you the way to actually think and how to process. Um, solving a problem mm -hmm. so that so that's beyond you know a, a, the language barrier and yeah. one thing i've also realized once i came went into the actual uh, interview was that the interviewers are not you know evaluating on your actual you know uh, uh, language skills okay mm -hmm. or, or whatever okay but uh, he or she is looking for the way that you think Yes. And then whether you can ana analytically and structure, structurally you know, uh, uh, dissect the problem and then solve it, right? So I think that's uh, the number, uh, point number one I want to make. Point number two is that, again, our program offers very diverse uh, 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 peers and candidates. And I was fortunate enough to find uh, Mandarin speakers uh, and uh, who were you know, gracious enough to actually help me and, and interview me in Mandarin. So yeah. <laughs> I, I have to tell you, my very first session with one of the mentees, yeah, I struggled so much in trying to convey my uh, uh, my thoughts and process in yeah. business Chinese. Yeah. And then so, so, so he was like, hey, I don't know what you're trying to say, you know, but <laughs> if you're confused, if you're confused, you know, just say it, blurt it out in, in, in English, right? And yeah. then, but but gradually, um, gradually um, uh, I perfected on, you know, on, you know in delivery. And but at the same time, he also gave me, he forced me to really critically um, try to, you know, understand what the whole concept of solving the problem is. Yeah. And again, going uh, going back to what the program teaches us. And yeah. then um, I think I think uh, so, so. So I guess my main point is, it's not so much about the language itself, but about your understanding of how to solve the problem and then yeah. convey it in a way that the interviewer wants to hear. Yeah, 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 very good. And I think I know who you're referring to. And I think he has become also now a McKinsey colleague, right? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I'm very, very excited. So, you know, again, this is these are the friendship that you make and they'll last for, for a lot of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah actually. Uh, actually, uh, and there was another one, right? Uh, uh, she was interviewing in Germany, in German, but, uh, and, and I think she has now joined BCG, if I'm not <laughs> mistaken. Correct, correct. Right, right. We still keep in touch and then we still you know tr trade in a different you know uh, tips and you know things that we uh, yeah. learn along the way as well and yeah. then i'm sure that down the line it'll be very you know helpful and useful for all of us yeah yeah amazing cool um well um do you have like any additional learnings broader messages which you would like to share with folks who are just now starting their preparation journey for interviews at one of the big firms like mckinsey or the other mbbs Absolutely, absolutely. Um, uh, again, uh, because uh, I was an, an, an experienced hire, I will probably comment more um, on the experienced hire front. And then, yeah. so, 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 so for people out there uh, who are who are trying to, you know, also hire, uh, trying to get into McKinsey as an experienced hire, yeah. I think there are two, I think there are two things that you have to uh, get get ready first. I think firstly, mentally, you have to uh, really get ready because. Um, I think as uh, experienced hires, we tend to come with um, knowledge you know, or experience mm -hmm. yeah. that sometimes can uh, overshadow our, our, our judgment, you know, because we have to understand one thing, um, the way that uh, the MBB uh, way of work can sometimes be very, very different to you know, our normal uh, daily life, life work as well. So, so, so I guess my point is, when you start your journey, you have to really, you know, have the right mindset and and, um, and really, you know, come with no baggage and say, you know what, I'm going to try to be as as more of a clean slate as possible so that I can absorb everything. This is really, really critical. Now, my point number two is that during your uh, your, your preparation, um, there are there will be times where you feel like your experience or your past knowledge will take over. Mm -hmm. Particularly when you're when you're confronted with a question you know, that that could be relevant to your field of expertise, yeah. and then obviously naturally our, our experience and our prior knowledge would take over and say, you know what, uh, in my you know yeah. 
think this could, we should approach this in this way. Yeah. Uh, although, although in some ways this is valued, but this is not valuable to you as an interview, you know, uh, your, mm. your preparation, because your interviewer is not testing you on your knowledge, yeah. but testing you on your problem solving ability and your, yes. the, your approach and your, you know, and your structure. Uh, and, but ultimately the way that you think, not yes. so much. You know? Because uh, I have to emphasize this now that I've uh, I've worked with the firm for for a couple of months, there are a lot of knowledge experts out there, you know, yes. <laughs> available at your disposal. And then so the firm is not asking you as a, a as generalist or integrative you know consultant to come up with knowledge, but to really come in and really have an approach in solving the problem. Okay, so that that's my um, that's my uh, uh, my take on the mindset. I think second one, uh, um, my second. Uh, critical element in terms of preparation would be once you're preparing this um, try to start um, with your peer coaching as early as possible because I think um, I think City and Yon gives us very 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 good content and very structured way of learning and then I would definitely apply it apply the knowledge to to your uh, to your actual interview um, practice but what I've realized is that it takes time. The first time that you, that, they, that you, whether you have a mentor or coaching or you have a mentee practice, mm -hmm. no matter how well you might think you're ready, you, you just, you, you just won't be ready. Okay. <laughs> Maybe you're just super talented, but I, I think for the 90% of us, uh, it, it, it's a, it's a process, but this process can only be improved if you increase your repetition. And then, uh, and then I will also emphasize uh, an error logbook after each um, session. Just log down, just, just jot down one or two things that you can uh, improve on, and make sure, that, ensure that by the time the next interview practice comes around, you have to ensure that these two a, a prime mistake that you've made in the past yeah. is actually mitigated. You know, directly yeah. uh, in, in your. So, so yeah, so so uh, peer uh, interviews uh, is is critical. Really take advantage of that as well. And then my last uh, my last point is that um, try to walk into an interview um, and enjoy it. I know this is really difficult. I know this sounds very you know <laughs> artificial right now, but uh, I was able to enjoy my practice runs, you know, and, and ultimately the interview itself, uh, you know, towards the very end, because I started to realize that, hey, you know what? Um, I think this is more than just an interview. Hey, right? this is, you know, if I come in and say that uh, it, um, I'm here to have fun as you want to say it right and then to, yeah. to try to tackle the um the problem together and also see the interviewer as someone who can really uh, not just here to to judge whether you're good or not but to here to help you and try to uh, see that person as your colleague almost and say that you know what problem a or b you know i, I am the main driver of the problem i uh, to solve the problem but i can also utilize and leverage my interviewer to help me out and yeah. then, but this can only happen if you start to have a conversational um, uh, atmosphere, and you put your. But you can only initiate that if you have that uh, mentality, and if you have that, you know, approach. And yeah. I'm sure that once you have that, once you're relaxed, uh, your performance will, you know, uh, sh showcase itself as well. So yeah, so these are my three key uh, takeaways and my suggestions for people who are also trying to get into uh, MBB as an experience hire. Amazing. Well, uh, thank you so much for sharing your perspective about uh, uh, how it was for you, the insights, the tips. Uh, I think it's, it's ex extremely valuable for people who are watching. Um, and yeah, I mean, I think uh, what remains to be said is <laughs> enjoy the ride with McKinsey. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sidi. Uh, again, I, I have to say that I couldn't have done it with you guys without you guys, and then um, I'm really thankful and also thankful to all the peers who has helped me along the, um, the, the journey. Cool. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>